Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. If you guys want to take part in that, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them for my new notifications. So we're back with my current household. I've really been wanting to play my current household and I have the past couple of days and I just wanted to bring you guys along. I wanted to film. So here we are. So we have a new little, a new little baby here, a new little toddler who is actually about to be a child. It is her birthday right now. And I, in the last part, I believe we were pregnant or just showing for pregnancy. And this is the outcome of that pregnancy. And I think it's so funny because I decided to name her Renee after her mother or her grandmother. And she looks just like her. <laughs> it's so weird that she looks just like her. She has the hair. She has the eyes. It's really, really crazy how that happened. Uh, so that's quite interesting. So she's going to be turning into a child. We are going to have her blow out the candles. I wanted to invite family over, but it's getting kind of late and there's all kinds of stuff going on. We're still in this same house and I really need to move them out of this house and get a bigger house because there's just not space, especially because yo girl, she's pregnant again. Okay. She's pregnant again. What are you doing? Oh my God. This is why you're pregnant. He tried for a baby with her and that's what happened here. And that's what happened here. This was another try for a baby that I didn't ask for, but you know, she's pregnant right now. Um, and now he's going to go woohoo. By the way, they are married. She kind of finally stopped being so stubborn and they ended up getting married. Uh, and you know, they're just doing their thing. Apparently going to go woohoo. I wanted to invite the family over and maybe I can have Astra, but Astra is now a teen and she looks just like her mother, like literally just like her mother. She is so dang stunning. I still cannot find her father. He is in the family tree, but when I've gone to the future, he is nowhere to be found. He's in the family tree, but not in our friendship panel. Do not know. Um, it's very, very strange. So, um, yeah, there's that. He's, he's still the father, but he is nowhere to be found. And she looks literally nothing like him. <laughs> she looks just like her mother, which is fantastic. Zeta, Zeta over here is now, you guys, Zeta is a future tech. She has been given the sentience, robo nanny, competent cleaner, limitless learning, and robotny gardener. So, she kind of drives me nuts because she does not let us take care of her own child. So I might put in a different, uh, like a different trait chip and get rid of the robo nanny, but she is a lot of help, but she's a future tech. And we still have the become immortalized as a pioneer of Pombotic statue, even though we did it. So something strange, I told you guys in the last part, I was having trouble with the trendsetter thing. We weren't getting the trendsetter one. Well, randomly she was at the, uh, City Hall, I think. I think we were actually going to switch the future. I don't know. We were just, we were somewhere and it said she got it. I have no idea where it came from. It was so random. I'm like, we haven't even tried for this. I don't know what that was all about, but all I know is we have the trendsetter. We also have the timekeeper because this one was also late being given to us. Don't know that problem. We are now also the renowned philanthropist because we did go ahead and win the lotto. That is why we have so much more money and we donated to the plan, the future fund. And I should have this one, but we don't. And I'm currently working on this one. We're very, very, very new to it. Like we just started learning the, the laser rhythmicon but I thought it'd be kind of fun to have every one of the statues or at least try to. It's been a bit difficult, uh, so there's that. Also, we haven't gotten this. Be honored with a legacy statue experience, all alternate futures. We've done all of it. We have three legacy statues. We've experienced every future. We still haven't gotten our lifetime wish. So there's just there's just something with this family, but it, it's fine because I love them and I, I will not give up on this file, even though I've had quite, quite the issues. But we definitely need to figure out where we're going to move to because we need a bigger home. All right. We need a, a bed for her. She has been right here. Yeah. This has been her bedroom. Pretty sad, huh? Uh, and now we have another baby on the way. So we're going to have even more, even more trouble trying to, what are you doing? What did she do? What did she do? What did she do? What are you scolding her for? What did she do? Was she trying to set a booby trap? I think that's what it is because she's kind of in a sassy mood. She woke up like, you know, not in the best mood. What was she doing? You are in big trouble. Maybe you should get her. Okay. What did you do though? Like, I'm trying to figure that out. 
Um, yep, from getting caught because setting a booby trap. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to just, you know, ignore that and and apologize to her because she's she's just in a sassy mood. We also have a car, a Jeep here, and she just learned to drive. I'm trying to think what else has been going on because I've really just been playing and enjoying things. Oh, we had a new neighbor moving across the street over here in this house. And, you know, they kind of hit it off pretty quick. She went over there and introduced herself and prom is Monday. So she went ahead and asked him since he's like the new kid, she asked him and um, he said, yeah. So, you know, they don't know each other very well, but maybe, maybe they will. She's also in some after school activities. So she has music club and drama club. Those are her after school activities. She's doing great in school. We have our friendships here. This is Calvin Benson. Oh, he's in a career, an intermediate help desk professional. So he's actually in a career. And as you can see, we don't have the doggos in the house because I was getting so beyond stressed with three dogs, all of these people, not enough space. Nobody could really move properly. So I went ahead and gave Ryder the doggos for now because I need things to slow down and I need to get a bigger house before I move them back into our house. And guess who's still kicking? Tammy's still here, you guys. Tammy is still here, kicking and going. Uh, but yeah, when we move into a bigger home, I am going to bring the doggos back. There's just, it was really rough in this household and we have plenty of money, but the next thing I'm going to do after I film this is, is figure out a house for us because this is just not cutting it anymore. I love this house so much, but we do not have the space. So that is kind of where we're at in this situation. So I'm just gonna kind of play along here and you know should we try to throw a party let me see if we if we can throw a party and invite family over Ryder is an elder now you guys let me show you our family tree so this is who i started out with was renee and our daughter looks just like her then we have Ryder, who is now an elder we have julian julian is married and so is Ryder. but neither of them ever had children i i find that so strange because i do have story progression on, but the only one that's had children is Maverick, who has Hillary and Wendy, and Oliver is also married, and, and then us, and then we have our kids, but, and then Ace, you know, none of them, he's with, he's, okay, he's with an old woman, all right, anyway, <laughs> so that's just kind of how it's been, you know, there hasn't been a lot of children in the house, uh, household, or in the family tree, like I thought there would be, but, you know, it's, it's Gucci, you guys don't have to have children if you don't want. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw a party. We're going to try to throw a birthday party for Renee. And he looks sad. Like, why are you sad? All right. So we just invited family to the birthday. Um, let me see what's going on. Check out new object. Let's actually have him. He's going to use the bathroom. Uh, I want him to to, you know, forgive her because I don't want him to be stressed out. She has been doing, you know, she's, she's in a mood. So we're going to let her off the hook, uh, because I don't want it to ruin their relationship because a couple of times this has happened and <laughs> it's ruining their friendship. And he's actually been, you know, he's the one that helped raise her. Her, her actual father hasn't raised her. So I don't want them to have such a terrible relationship, but since she's been a teen, she's been a little bit sassy and she's skipped school a couple times and I have to go over there and like literally put her into school. And she did that when she was a child as well. So he's always the one to scold because he's always the one because he works at the school. So he's like always there. And I guess maybe she is more lenient on the kiddos. So he's the one who unfortunately has to, I guess, make, make, sure that I don't know he's just the one that kind of takes control and they they really do have a good friendship it's just it doesn't look like it right now so let's do about a new car he actually helped teach her to drive um but yeah it's just kind of kind of a rough situation right now because she's you know a teenager and she's being rebellious and all of that so let me see oh look at her she's so excited oh my gosh <laughs> Look at you guys, here is Ryder. This makes me so sad. I love Ryder so much and when something happens to him, I am going to be extreme. What are you, what are you, what, what is this? What is this outfit? Oh my goodness. Okay, and, and what is that outfit? Okay, everybody is showing up and I think Zeta was screaming. I think, I think she, I didn't invite you, Colin. 
Um, Oliver's here. Uh, Tara, I didn't invite you, but you know, there's that. Uh, but our family's here. We're gonna have to hurry up and blow out the candles probably before things get too crazy. Who brought, somebody brought, ooh, teppanyaki, chicken fried rice. What are you eating? You're eating spoiled? Okay, you know what, that's fine. Just do what you gotta do. There is so much going on, I don't even know. Everybody's gathering in the bathroom. They're gonna get stuck. They're gonna get stuck, I already so see I'm it. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> Zeta is the one who's going to be having the birthday party for her because Zeta is literally attached to this child because of the robo-nanny. So she literally, she won't even let us take care of her own child. It's so funny, I have to fight her over putting this child to bed or feeding her. Ryder, that was a rotten face you had, but here we go. We are aging up, little miss here. I cannot wait. Here's pregnant mama, here she is. She's like, you know what, it should be me. It should be, it should be girl, but Zena means good. You know, she's just here to help. I also should have some photos, I believe at the end, cause I have been taking some photos. Uh, so I'll leave some of those as well, if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, this family, I just love them. I love them so, so, so much. I have been so attached and we have just another baby on the way. And I hope it's a boy this time because we have a lot of girls. <laughs> so I really hope we get a boy this time around. All right, where, where did you put her? Oh, over here. I'm like, where did you put her? So let's see her age up. I still cannot believe I named her after her grandmother. And she looks just like her. It, that was not planned, but that's kind of what happened. So I am also going to continue to randomize traits. I just kind of feel like that helps me not pick the same traits over and over. Uh, what are we laughing at her for? <laughs> We're apparently laughing at her. Okay, so we get to choose a trait. Like I said, I randomize everything. So, all right, she's insane. She is insane and of course all of this crazy stuff in the future since you know she aged up and all these things um what is going on with this family <laughs> like like honestly so here is renee oh my there she is in all her glory with her little cross eyes oh my gosh i tell you this family but yeah we're gonna have to for sure move there's no space here for the amount of people in this household especially because she will be giving birth and I'm not sure when because I'm trying not to look at what she's having because I do want it to be a surprise. Uh, and I, I don't know if they have decided wash hands two times because she is a little bit, you know, she needs, she needs something. Uh, he actually does want to have a boy. Okay. I was like, I thought one of them wanted to have a boy by a tree house. We'll definitely do that, but we got to get a bigger home. Our garden, we kind of just like gave up back here because everything's, well, pretty much everything died. Uh, we got what we could and we just have a carrot plant and a pomegranate tree left out of our garden. I kind of gave up because she was pretty much just working on future stuff. Um, he needs to get some food. She's fine. Maybe I'll have her play the laser rhythmicon because she's only got a couple points or one point I think yeah just one point almost level two so she's really not like I said worked on it too much but we're gonna maybe give her some time everybody is I know everybody is literally you don't you're not hungry so how about we don't we don't worry about that and he is hungry but why don't you just go ahead and eat this birthday cake she what's going on here take cell phone photo no we're not taking cell phone photos how about you just go to the bathroom feed tammy to make oh you can't reach okay somebody else will have to feed tammy i guess but we'll let you get some food but this is just total freaking chaos right now everybody is that you see how small the house is that's why i had to put the dogs with somebody else so that i can get them back later i didn't want to send them to be adopted i want to be able to have them in our household i just have to wait until we have space for three dang dogs. Okay, I guess everybody is leaving, or at least he's leaving, but she's working on her Rhythmicon. She's doing her thing. I'm probably gonna give Renee a makeover because this this isn't working for me. All right, guys, so uh, we are about to pop out this baby. I was not quite expecting it this soon, but <laughs> here we are. Let's go ahead and take her to the hospital, and I'm gonna have to look up some baby names, but... Over here we have Little Miss sleeping and I had to place down two single beds for the kiddos 
until we can get out of this house. I love how Zeta is just unbothered playing video games. Like, no big deal. No big deal. You're just gonna probably take over, <laughs> take over taking care of these kids or this kid. I hope it's not these kids because if it's these kids, I will die. We took the Jeep to go to the hospital and I love how she was the one driving instead of Owen. Um, are you fighting your demons over there? Like what, what was that? Who are you? Justine, leave me alone. Okay. I am very much pregnant and Zeta is just over here playing video games. This does not even care that she's going to have another baby to take care of. Like She just doesn't care because she will be the one to take care of it because she is not letting us take care of her own children. Oh, we're waiting. And it says, Owen is faithful to Violet. Owen has a faithful reputation and she got the same. That is so cute. I wonder why that pops up. Like what causes that to pop up? I think I also forgot to tell you guys, tell you guys that they're both on their way to being elders. So having a baby now is kind of crazy. Maybe I, maybe I do need to have more than one child because he wants to have five. He already has, oh my gosh, we had a boy. Okay. We had a boy. We had a boy. Um, I, I think I'm going to name him Jackson. I kind of had that name picked out. So we had a boy, uh, but he wants to have five children. So he's at three now because one, then he had a previous one, two, three. Yeah. So we're at three children. So we're going to have to have two more a clumsy couch potato. Okay. It is what it is. We'll just kind of take it. So we're going to maybe have to try for fertility treatment or something so that he can get his five babies. I don't know, but we did have just the one, which thank goodness, because I don't know if I could deal with any more than that. Uh, and like I said, this household, we got to get a new house. We have got to get a bigger house because it's not working. Okay. It's just not, it's absolute. Did we, Oh, I thought we, I thought that was him. I'm like, did we leave him behind? Uh, it's just not working out for us because look how many Sims we have in the house and we have a two bedroom house. So yeah. Mm, next thing on the, on the list here, considering we have the money is to find a bigger home because this is just like I said, not going to work. I kind of want to age him up just to see what he looks like because I'm curious and I also hate the baby stage. She's totally unbothered. We have <laughs> her over here again, totally unbothered. What are you doing? Are you making the bed? I'm not quite sure. Somebody needs to feed Tammy. We're not losing Tammy. I hope that we, I hope that somebody did feed her, but somebody needs to feed Tammy. So I think I'm going to actually age up. <laughs> I think I am going to age up. Um, Jackson, just because honestly, like I said, I hate, hate, hate the baby stage. So I'm just going to do this for purposes of their getting old. And I want to make sure that he gets the amount of children that he wants. So that means we're going to have to yeah, buy a crib. Definitely for freaking sure. But we're going to have to have two more and then he'll have five kids and we're just going to have to raise them until they're teenagers. Um, because Astra, of course, is not his biologically, but what are we doing? Are we not blowing the candles out here? Are we not doing that? Or, wait, did, hold on. What did I do? Oh, okay. Hold on. I was like, did I click the wrong thing? I guess I didn't. Why are we not blowing out the candles for Jackson? Who's, who's blowing? Why are we not blowing out the candles for Jackson? Is it too soon? Are we, is it too soon? What's the situation? Oh, you're, you're, wait, what? Hold the phone. Who has the best relationship with him? How, how do you have a better, re how? I it don't know. does not matter. Let's just age him up so I can see what he's going to look like. Cause I really do want one of them to take after. Is that a, okay. I really want one of them to take after, um, Owen. Like it would be so cute if this was his little twin. Cause she has her twin. And then we have Renee as her grandmother. It would be really cute to have, you know, his little twin as well. Kind of see where that goes. Zeta, here you are again. <laughs> I just find it so funny that she's the one aging up the baby, but it's fine. We're just getting over right, it. We're placing him down so we can see what he looks like aging up. They both have black hair, so that... Oh my god. 
what are, please tell me okay they're just woohooing i was gonna say please tell me we're not about to try for a baby right like right like we're just we're just woohooing okay i think we're just woohooing but um jackson you can age up at any moment now that would be pretty great oh are we not going to do that do we have do we have a glitch we have a glitch okay you're just woohooing you're just okay i just have to make sure because the two of them just can't do whatever the heck they want to do um for some reason jackson did not age up and i find that to be extremely rude uh so <laughs> i guess i'm gonna have to reset him like i told you guys or maybe i didn't i think i did i've had kind of a lot of issues here so please tell me it was just a woohoo right should i risky woohoo should i go there and do a risky woohoo because you guys know how i love to do a risky woohoo to see if it's going to cause chaos okay that was just a woohoo yeah it was just a woohoo um all right let's let's just do it come on we're gonna risky woohoo let's do it let's do it right now we're gonna risky woohoo 10 percent. let's go for it and see see how that goes and then i'm gonna have to reset him because um why didn't you age up okay this is so cute though <laughs> this is so cute oh my goodness gracious all right let's let's do the risky woohoo check it and then i'm gonna reset him to see if for some reason i don't know if he'll be aged up okay she's like i have got to use the bathroom well let's go ahead and check and see what we have going on relationship okay no risky woohoo no risky woohoo problem i am going to reset you little dude and see if you're aged up possibly let's reset you and you're still a baby i wonder why you didn't age up are you just like immune to aging up are you just going to lay here in the baby blanket and be a baby forever that's fine just be a baby it's it's gucci no problem we don't even have a crib for you anyway this part whatever <laughs> i'm gonna wrap it up we're not gonna see what he looks like apparently but i'm gonna wrap it up right here let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'll probably stick in some photos we'll see well i'll see what i have because i have like probably over 500 photos for this family uh and i'll just kind of throw in some you know if i feel like it and if i feel like there's enough of them but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below don't forget to leave a like leave a like and subscribe turn on your post notifications all of that fun stuff i love you and i'll see you in the next so, video update he looks just like his grandmother as well i think i accidentally canceled out when i was exiting all of the birthday you know cake things i exited out of his birthday or something but yeah he looks like his grandma. So poor Owen, he'll get his twin one day. <laughs>